What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, uh, I normally don't upload two videos in a day, but might as well upload another video because the first video was pretty short and also I don't feel like you guys really, really care that much about prefix sums. So I'm gonna go over another video. One of the guys asked me a comment to go over uh, Project Euler problem one. And this is the problem. Uh, I normally don't do Project Euler questions, mainly because they're mostly with uh, number theory, and number theory is not that much with algorithms, but it does help with solving some competitive programming questions. Like if you could figure out a mathematical equation, a lot of the times that's way faster than trying to come up with an algorithm, you know? You know what I mean? Like, because a mathematical equation is like O of one, like O of one constant time. It just takes one co computation to solve it. So anyway, we're gonna go over this problem. So basically the problem is find the sum of all multiples of three or five below 1000. Okay, so what does this mean? So pretty much you what you could do is you could go through all the, you could create a for loop and start from int i equals zero, right? Uh, not int i equals zero. You could, okay, so you could start a for loop for, uh, starting from one and go up to a thousand. And then every time you have a number that's divisible by three or five, you could sum it up. All right, so you could do like sum plus equal to whatever that number is. But the problem is that that you technically don't have to do that. So we're gonna find one mathematical equation to solve this problem. So we don't have to use a for loop to loop through all the numbers and then just count trying to find the mod, okay? So first of all, before I start this problem, we have to look at this. We need to find all sums, uh, we need to find the sum of all multiples of three or five or five. This is a five, by the way. Sorry, this is a five. Uh, hope you guys can see it. It's a three or five below a thousand. Okay. So, before, whenever I see a problem with or, I know that I have to use uh, this formula to do things. Okay. Um, so, I don't. I don't know what the specifics is called, but let me search search it up real quick. Whenever you see an or, we need to use something called the inclusion exclusion principle, okay? So before I start with this, I have to explain what that is. So let's say I have this set A and B, okay? And I have some group of numbers in A and uh, in B, right? And the intersection between them are all the numbers that are in both A and B, okay? So this is a Venn diagram. This A, uh, A is just a set of a group of numbers and B is a set, another set of group of numbers, okay? And this is the intersection. This inside is the intersection, okay? Inside is the interse intersection of A and B. So we write that normally in probability as this, right? Intersection A and B. So this is all the group of numbers that are in A and in B, okay? Now you might be thinking, um, what does this have to do with uh, or, okay, with uh, the find sum of all multiples of three or five below a thousand. Well, first of all, it has a lot of thing to do with it, okay? So, whenever we see a group of numbers, right, like a set A and B, like a set A and then a set B, uh, let's say I want to find the group of numbers that are in A or B. So, it could be in either A or B. So what does that mean? That means that this, uh, so, okay, let me, let me draw this again. So this, this was the Venn diagram of A, A intersection B, right? So that's the group of numbers in A and in B. Well, what about the group of numbers in A or B? So in A or B, so what does that mean? That means I could be in all the group of numbers in A, or I could be in all group of numbers of B. So that basically means that I'm gonna sh shade in the, all the numbers of it. So that, that's this, group of numbers in A, or the group of numbers in B, okay? And we, we show that in this formulation by calling it this, A union B. So this is a group of numbers in A, and, or the group of numbers in B. Now you might be thinking, well, how do I calculate A or B, right? The group of numbers A or in group of numbers B. Well, how you would do it is that you would actually have to add up the group of numbers in A and then add up B. Then you have to subtract by the intersection of this, okay? And I'll show you why. So like A union B is actually gonna equal to A plus B minus A, um, 
uh, A minus A intersection B, okay? And the reason why is because you're double counting, essentially. So well, I'll show you guys. Let's say I let's say I have intersection of just A, just A, okay? And if I were to, this is this is all the group of numbers of A, okay? It's like that, okay? That's all the group of numbers of A. Now, if I add up the group of numbers in B, I'm adding this. Okay, so you could see that I'm double counting here. You already could see I'm already double counting because I'm adding up group of numbers in B and I'm double counting here already. There are some group of numbers in A that overlap with B. So I have to subtract at least one overlap to get uh, my normal uh, A, uh, A union B. Okay, so, so I have to do A or B is equal to A plus B then minus A intersection B and that's I have to subtract the values that I overlap okay so I hope you guys understand the picture I was drawing so if you add up B you're overlapping the values of B and then this this intersection got counted twice and we don't need that intersection so we have to subtract by at least one intersection of that okay so now now that we have this under control I have to think about this I now I explain the inclusion exclusion principle to you guys we need to find the sum of all multiples of of three or five below a thousand. So what does that mean? That means multiples of three or five below a thousand. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna say, okay, A is gonna equal to the multiples of three below a thousand. So A is gonna equal to multiples of three And then B is gonna to equal to multiples of five over a thousand. Oh, I, I accidentally draw this twice. Sorry guys. So A is gonna to equal to multiples of three below a thousand, and then B is gonna to equal to multiples of five over a thousand. So the intersection of the multiples of three or five below a thousand is gonna be A or B. So that's gonna be the multiples of three or five over a thousand. So let's call this uh, three or five over, over uh, below a thousand, below a thousand, my bad. Three or five below a thousand. Below 1,000, okay? So that's what this is, three or five below a thousand. That's gonna be A uh, union B, okay? And then that's gonna equal to A plus B minus A intersection B. So what's A intersection B? A intersection B is going to be multiples of three and five, whoops. And five below 1000, okay? So once I just, I'm just gonna get this out of the way, okay? So we basically what we have to do is we have to add up the multiples of three below a thousand uh, with the multiples of five below a thousand and then subtract by the multiples of three and five over a thousand, okay? Uh, below a thousand, right? So that's what we have to do. That's, I'm just explaining that, that we have to do, okay? So how do we find the multiples of three that are below a thousand? So, um, um, let's just sum it up, okay? So we're gonna write the summation like this, okay? So A is gonna equal to multiples of three, the sum of multiples of three, uh, sum of multiples of three below a thousand, right? And let's just let's just uh, let's just write it out. We're gonna do three plus six plus nine. Uh, what's three times four? Three times four is twelve, I think. Yeah, three times four is twelve. Then uh, three times five is fifteen. Then we're gonna go up to. Okay, so what what are the numbers? What's the last number that is below a thousand? That's a multiple of three. That's 999, okay? So that's 999, okay? All right, now I'm gonna write the multiples of five below 1,000. Um, so what is that? Multiples of five, uh, five below 1,000. I'll just write it quickly, okay? Right. Multiples of five below 1,000, that's gonna equal to five plus 10 plus 15 plus 20, and then up to 
Uh, what's the last number below a thousand? Uh, it's 995, right? So that's what this is doing, okay? So I hope I'm showing you guys how this works, okay? So now that we know that, uh, let's let's think let's come up with an equation, okay? So what do I see on here? Number of th multiples of three below a thousand. Well, three. I have three plus six plus nine plus twelve plus fifteen plus up to nine hundred ninety nine. Well, all these values could be. I could distribute a three out. I could factor a three out. So I'm going to do equal three times one plus two plus three uh, plus four and then plus five, and it's going to go up to three hundred thirty three. I think yeah, three hundred thirty three. Yeah, yeah, three hundred thirty three. Then for 5, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to factor out a 5. So I'm going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Uh, yeah, up to uh, 995. What's 995 divided by 5? That's uh, with my trusty calculator, 199. Okay. So the, I, I basically all I did was just factor out the, the, the 5 and the 3 on both of these. Okay. So now what do we do? Um... There is a way to sum up the values of 1 to n, okay? There's a mathematical equation that helps you sum up the values from 1 to n. And I'm going to show you guys, I think there's a, um, let's see, uh, let's see. To do that, we are actually going to take a, my trusty, I think it's called, uh, I think it's n times uh, sum of, sum of uh, arithmetic series, okay? There's a sum of arithmetic series formula that adds up the values of one to n, I think. Uh, let's see, is it this one? A1 plus A of n over two times n. Um, A1 plus A of n over two. So yeah, this formula is the sum of arithmetic series is a1 plus a n over 2 times by n, which is n is the, what is n? n is the number of terms, I think? Wait, what's my number of terms? Okay, wait, hold up, let me see. Sum up values, sum up, sum up graph sequence up from 1 to, I don't want to use the actual thing. I want to go over the actual term. Uh, there's like a formula that lets you do it. Yeah, it's n times n plus 1 over 2. And that sums up all the, the numbers from 1 to n, I believe. So that's is going to be from, what are the numbers from 1 to 333? It's going to be summing up from 1 to 333 is going to be... Uh, n times n plus 1 over 2, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, n times n plus 1 over 2. So what is our n? So the mathematical equation that lets you sum up from the numbers from 1 to n is going to be n times n plus 1 over 2. And what is that? Uh, our n is going to be 333. So that's going to be 333 times 333 plus 1, which is 4. 334 over 2 okay and that's going to that's going to be our multiples of 3 below a thousand and we're gonna do the same thing for 5 so what's the sum of uh, numbers from 1 to not 199 n times n plus 1 over 2 so 199 times 199 plus 1 which is uh, 200 and then divided by 2 okay and that's 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 it that's pretty much it hold up what am i doing 199 that's pretty much it uh yeah so now you have both of these values now we have to subtract by the the difference which is going to be p then times n plus one uh yeah so now we have to subtract by the uh the multiples of three and five below a thousand. Okay, so I'm gonna get another sheet of paper. Okay, so basically guys, I just rewrote the exact same thing of what I wrote on the other sheet of paper. This is a, 
this is the equation that that gives you the sum of one to n and that's equal to n times n plus one over two and i basically use that at the same values of the same sequence that we we're going through 333 times 334 over two and then we multiply by three and then we do the same thing over here five is equal to 199 times 200 over two times five okay so that that's that's the uh sums that's a and b now we have to think about the a intersection b which is going to be the sum of five and three below a thousand so sum of the multiples of five and three well what are the multiples of five and three the multiples of five and three are 15 okay because three times five is 15 and that's what the multiples of five and three are so this is equal to sum of multiples of 15 below a thousand okay and once we know that we just have to sum up all the numbers of uh 15 below a thousand and it's pretty much the exact same thing of three and five, five right all right guys so what do i have to do i pretty much have to write a mathematical function that given a value n it's going to sum up all the multiples of n below a thousand so now all i have to do is i just have to plug in the multiples of three of a thousand plus the multiples of five over a thousand then subtract by multiples of 15 over a thousand so how do we we have to look, look back at how do we figure out a function to figure out for a and b okay so let's figure out what do we do we, we had first of all we had to find a number that's below a thousand uh okay so first of all uh, we have to find out the last ending value that we have to end on below a thousand and in this case it was a 999 so what did we do? We took 999, then divided by 3, and then we got 333, and then uh, we actually took the whole sequence and divided by 3, so then we had to factor out a 3, and then we realized we could sum up the values from 1 to this last number, and that will be pretty much the sum up the values of 1 to this last number, and then that would be that we take that number and we plug that into this equation for the... Uh, n times n plus 1 over 2, and that gave us our answer. So what do we have to do? So basically our mathematical function, it's going to be, this is going to be what it was. This is going to be function sum multiples below uh, n, okay? Below n, okay? Sum of multiples below n. All right, this is going to be a pseudocode, okay? What are we going to do? We're first going to take our the last number that we we need to find the last number so this is going to be int last num and what are we going to do we need to find the last number so what did we take we took uh the so we took the largest possible number that's actually possible that's below a thousand which is 999 so we're going to take 999 divided by uh our number n here okay so last number is going to equal to 999 divide, divide by n then what are we going to do uh, so then once we have this last number, we have to plug this last number into our math equation of n times n plus 1 over 2. So that'll be last num times last num plus 1, and then we divide it by 2, okay? And then what do we do after that? After we plugged in this last number into our math equation right here, uh, so 333 times 334 over 2. That's what we did. That's what we did here. Uh, we have to multiply the result by our multiple that we had uh, that we divided it by. So in our, our multiple in this case is going to be n because we're writing a function that gen uh, that pretty much it's a generic value. It's not just three, but it's, it's going to be n. So we're going to multiply this by n. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We just have to return this. Return n times uh, last num multiply a last num plus one divided by two and that's pretty much it so then now to to calculate the sums of multiples of three uh of three or five below a thousand it's going to be sum multiples below we're going to call this function pass in three then plus uh, sums below uh, the exact same thing some multiple below pass in uh five then subtract some multiples below and then pass in 15 and that'll be your answer plug this pseudo code code this up guys i think you guys code this up it's not that it's not that difficult just take 999 divided by n get your last number then you sum up 
last number uh, return n times last number times last number plus one over two. And that's pretty much it. And then once you have this function, just plug this uh, to do like a C out or something of multiple, uh, some multiples below three plus some multiples of five minus some multiples below 15. That's all you have to do. That's how you do this problem for um, some multiples of three or five below a thousand. Uh, I, I could actually just code this up with you guys. Uh, I could just code this up just for in case if you want me to. So I'm going to code it up right now. All right, guys. So how do we do this? We're going to basically just do the exact same thing. So uh, I'm going to create a function called int uh, sum multiples below n. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to take the last number, find the last number in our sequence. So it's last num is going to equal to uh, 999 divided by n. Uh, okay, so some num. So when I say some multiples below this, I should write a thousand, thousand. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then what am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to turn n times last number times last number plus 1 over 2. So return n times last number times last number plus 1, then divide by 2. And yeah, that's basically it. That's how you do this problem. Uh, so then now, uh, how are we going to do this? Uh, let, me just, let me just like comment this whole thing out. Uh, comment my old, old code. I should learn shortcuts how to comment, but whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna just do C out. Some multiples below 1,000 plus some multiples below 5 plus some multiples below 15 and L. Okay. Uh, now I just have to do uh yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this just for readability's sake three five then minus fifteen okay now we just have to print it. It should just give us a number. I already have. I already know what the number is. So three 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 one six eight. Let's see. Is that the same number as what I got? Three. Yeah. Two three three one six eight. Two three three one six eight. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's the right answer of the the problem one on Project Euler. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was this was a lot of talking. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.